Darling, you Hello, my name is Chloe Peterson, the founder of Chloe Noel Productions, and this is my photo and video workshop. Darling, you So now I want to talk about your day of the shoot. Of course, you want to make sure you have an SD card that has enough memory. Typically, I do an, a 128, so just have that all prepared. I typically get to the shoot about 30 minutes to an hour before the shoot. Just like I said before, you want to make sure that you have a game plan. I usually walk through the location, make sure that everything looks the way that I had wanted it to. I go through in my head, okay, I'm going to have her go to this, this patch of grass first, and then we're going to go over to that river and we're gonna have her like lay in this field, things like that. The game plan changes, but it just makes you feel more confident as a photographer. The best time to take photos is about an hour and a half, two hours before sunset. That time allotted allows you to really get in a great session as the sun is hitting its like golden hour. It's kind of more soft lighting, and those are the best photos to do. And after you get your game plan and you're waiting for your senior to arrive, that's when you kind of go through your poses. Kind of think about, okay, this is the first pose I'm gonna do with a senior, this is what I wanna um, move into. Kind of just like, it's kind of like before tests, just like looking at the poses again, kind of just getting them in your head. Oh so yeah, that's like when I just like look up photos that I've done in the past, or I look up other examples on Instagram or even Google, and just look at pictures that would look the best. So when your senior arrives, you really want to just make them feel comfortable because they'll be nervous and even you'll be a little bit nervous too. So just get to know them a little bit, talk to them, make some small talk right right then and there, and then go into your game plan. We're going to go down in this uh, valley, we're going to do some poses, things like that, just so that they kind of get into the mode, okay, we're going to start taking pictures. One big question I ask them right at the beginning is, what is your good side or do you have a good side? Because a lot of times, guys don't really care. They're kind of like, whatever, I look good either way. <laughs> but girls, they have a side that they like. So that when you have them taking photos where you have them looking down to the side or looking up, it's the side of the face that they feel most comfortable. As a photographer, you're gonna be telling them to do a certain pose and you wanna make sure you're telling them poses that they feel comfortable doing. So reminding them that if you tell them a pose that they don't wanna do or don't feel comfortable doing, that they communicate with that with you. That's something that's key is communicating with your senior or any type of model that you are taking pictures of. So now you're in your shoot, you have them in front of the camera, you have your settings set, all the good stuff. So now it's to start posing them. They are gonna be stiff at the beginning because they're like, okay, what do I do? This is your time to really tell them how you want them to pose, things like that. Typically the first pose for girls I do is the hand, right hand over on like their forearm like this. You have them stagger their feet out or something like that. It's typically the first pose you do, it just opens them up and then you can move into, put your elbow in your hand and then touch your, your chin. Give a smile, give a serious, give a laughing, ha 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 ha. Just like have them move. Movement is the best for a photo. And with guys, it's that same pose. I call it the bro pose, just have it like this. You put the four in right here and then you just have them sit here. Big tip to know for senior photos is that for girls, you want them to look more, I guess, slim or feminine. <laughs> so you have them more posed to the side. With guys, you want them to look more broad and more like sturdy, I guess. And so you have them more straight on. I'm gonna take you along on a shoot. I'm gonna show you how I pose them. You know, use the surroundings that I have to pose people. Which side do you like better? Photograph. <laughs> My left. You like this side more? Yeah. Okay. Hand over your left and have it on your forearm. Put it a little higher. Perfect. And then you're just gonna like sway back and forth with the photo. Kind of stick your left foot out a little bit more. Perfect. And I kind of like that. Yes, I like you moving your skirt. Look at me. Smile. Perfect. And look down onto the grass. Perfect. Underneath your elbow. And then touch your chin like this. And then tilt a little more towards me to the left. I'm gonna do one where you're gonna turn away from me and then you're gonna turn around really quick. Two, three. Ready? Okay, now you're gonna take your dress and you're gonna sway it out like this and then like step into it. Two, three. Pretty. You're gonna step out and just look down. Right there. Stay right there. That's so pretty. All right, now to put your back up to the tree. That's pretty. Put your, other, put your left hand down onto your dress like that. Yes, right there. That's so pretty. Look down at the grass. Yes. 
All right, so now we're gonna do some sitting ones. So sit down into the grass. You're gonna put your hand up to your face. Yes. All right, so we're gonna do some walking photos. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, go slow, slow motion basically, and every time you take a step, make a pose. You can either put your hand on your hip, you can touch your hair, just, we're gonna do this a couple times, so, you know, do what you feel most comfortable doing, like you can touch your dress, things like that. Perfect, yes. That's so pretty. I love that. So as you can see, there's a lot of other poses that you can do, but those are just some basic poses to get you going. Your senior will get more comfortable when they're in front of the camera, so basically just, you know, letting them be themselves, giving them just basic guidelines, and then letting them kind of create their own type of senior shoot is the best scenario I could do. So good job, high five. And that concludes a senior session. As you can see that there's a lot of there's a lot of moving pieces in a senior shoot, but it's so much fun. And I think that if you focus on these type of things, being personable, being professional, you know, just having fun with your senior or any type of model, it really will show in your work. It's basically it for a senior shoot. If you guys have any more questions or comments or anything else you would like me to elaborate on, please put it in the comments below or message me, things like that. Thank you for watching. Darling.